the President of the Assembly of State Parties to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, His Excellency Mr. Christian Venevaser, visited Uganda from 24 to 27 January 2010 in order to discuss the preparations for the review conference scheduled to take place from 31 May to 11 June in Kampala. As the, the states that are the owners of the Rome Statute, which is the treaty that has established the International Criminal Court, we will get together later this year in Kampala. We are particularly happy that the government of Uganda has extended the invitation to us to come to Kampala to discuss our work. Not only has this court found the strongest support in this continent, in Africa, it was also this very country, Uganda, that was the first to turn to the International Criminal Court for assistance. And of course, meeting in Uganda will give us a unique opportunity to hear from the communities in this country directly and give a voice to those who are affected by the conflict. What will the state parties do to member, member, members' countries that will not cooperate to arrest ICC suspects? Well, thank you very much uh, for your question. I think uh, you have put your finger on, uh, on, on, one of the, on, on one of the biggest difficulties that, they, that we are facing in implementing the statute. Unlike a state, this court does not have its own police force. It does not have its own armed forces. This is why it is, as you have indicated, extremely important that the states that have signed on to the treaty cooperate with the court and arrest individuals that have been indicted. And in cases where, where such cooperation is outstanding for a prolonged period of time, states parties will certainly have to address this in the future. We have made the issue of cooperation one of the main topics at the conference in Kampala in May and in June. And I certainly hope that this will result in enhanced cooperation by states parties in particular also through uh, the arrest of individuals. In the case of the people that are indicted by the ICC, their apprehension of course is most, more complicated than in most other cases. They are power some of them are powerful people that are surrounded by their own armed personnel, but it, it, is, it is an obligation of states to arrest these individuals and uh, I hope that we will have more arrests forthcoming in the near future and we are all very, very happy to be here with you this afternoon. Yeah, okay.